Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. Barcelona, a wonderful city on the coast of northeastern Spain. So many visitors come here every single year. And with now Spain making some changes to reduce tourism, in this video you will see five places to visit in Barcelona and five day trips that I highly recommend that you should take. And before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button because it is free. Number one, the Gothic Quarter. With its iconic old Europe streets and alleys, this picturesque neighborhood is the very heart of Barcelona. It blends historic artifacts from its days under the Roman dominion right up through the Spanish Civil War. The narrow winding streets create quite a labyrinth and it means that it may take a while to get your bearings and this may be one of the changes that you will find with Spain reducing tourism. But I recommend that you should always look up and around you or you may miss some of the best bits. The Gothic Quarter has many peaceful squares, placas, where you can always relax and enjoy the surroundings. But one of the main attractions right in the heart of the district is the huge cathedral, which has a stunning courtyard which is full of plants. Don't forget the Park de la Ciutadella, a very idyllic and probably the greenest oasis in this mega city of Barcelona. You can relax, go for long walks, as well as even have a picnic. Number two, La Barceloneta. The first of Barcelona beaches and therefore can get quite busy during the summer months. But of course, people come here to socialize, relax, play volleyball, or even go windsurfing. Now you might hear me say this phrase a lot, go early, because it really means to go early. I've spent so much time here at the beach and I can tell you it does get super busy. Plenty of people trying to sell you things but in Europe that's always going to happen in beach locations. But you'll see some fantastic views and I promise you you'll probably meet someone new just by being there. Definitely one of the best things to do in Barcelona. Sagrada Familia. The Basilica de la Sagrada Familia stands in the northern part of the city, dominating its surrounding with its 18 spindly towers soaring high above all the other buildings. One of Europe's most unconventional churches, an amazing monument which is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can see that this building dominates the skyline in this Catalan city and an absolute must-do for anyone visiting. Under construction since 1882, the Roman Catholic Basilica in the Echample district of the city has beaten even the likes of Rome's Colosseum and the Empire State Building in New York in the annual awards. So that's got to say something. Tickets are roughly 26 euros and 30 if you want to go with a guided tour. Montjuic. A hilltop neighborhood right on the site of an old Jewish cemetery, explaining its name Montjuic, which translates to the Mountain of Jews. And standing 213 meters right above sea level, the hillside is crowned by a fortress, Castel de Montjuic, on its summit and slopes steeply down towards the waterfront. Now crowning this scenic area is the Parc de Montjuic, a beautiful natural park with great views. So this is a perfect day trip to kind of escape and get some really wonderful views. And on top of all the attractions, 
in this neighbourhood is the National Art Museum of Catalonia, which is roughly 12 euros at the time of making this video. But interesting to note is also built around the time was the Olympic Stadium, which was designed for the 1936 Games. However, Barcelona lost out to Berlin. But of course, later on in 1992, Barcelona held the Olympics. Now, before we move on to some day trips, Park Güell. Colourful and cheerful, a luxury 19 hectare hillside park is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. Created between 1900 and 1914, the park includes 12 acres of landscape gardens, featuring surrealist architectural elements created by Anthony Gaudi, and 8 acres of pristine woodland which is full of pine forests and olive groves. Now here you will see lots of fountains and viaducts and grottos. It's a really interesting sight. So within the park, you will see the Gaudi House Museum, where he lived for nearly two decades. And actually from the park, you have a great view of the city all the way out to the sea. But please do go early. Catalonia is filled with beautiful medieval villages, and one of the most picturesque villages is the tiny Besalú, a medieval town that sits just an hour drive north of Girona, in the region of Catalonia. It's quaint and filled to the brim with cobbled streets, stone houses, and a picture-perfect Romanesque bridge that straddles the Fluvia River. So once you're there, make sure to walk across the bridge of Besalú to visit the castle, relax at the lake and explore the beautiful Monasterio de San Pedro. It's not so far away from Barcelona and it's easily accessible from the Catalan capital on a day trip. Girona, a city in Spain's northeastern Catalonia region, beside the River Aña. The old town is a tight huddle of ancient houses, grand churches and sloped cobble streets, with the grand cathedral looming over it. Founded by Romans and the city was later taken over by the Moors and Franks before finally falling under the rule of Barcelona. It's influenced by different cultures and religions, and you will marvel at the beautiful architecture. The old and the new town offer many opportunities to get lost and observe local life. So try to check out the 12th century Arab baths, with its stunning stonework, majestic columns, rectangular structures, and it's only a couple of euros for entry. Montserrat The Benedictine Monk Retreat at Montserrat offers you some of the most spectacular mountain views of Catalonia. So if you do come here, it might be the highlight of your trip to Barcelona. Montserrat is a spectacular beautiful Benedict Monk mountain, a retreat that's about an hour northwest from Barcelona by train. Now not only is the Montserrat Monastery of significant religious importance, but the natural beauty surrounding the monastery is simply the thing that you have to see. So if you enjoy walking, 
there are many interesting walks throughout the mountains, where you will experience magnificent views of some of the most unusual rock formations in the whole of Catalonia. Next up is Sitges. A pretty whitewashed town, perfect for seafront walking and sunbathing. So of course in the warmer weather, you'll find the most central beaches that will be quite crowded. But luckily, there are quite a few to choose from. So pick your spot for that morning sunbathing or taking a dip into the sea before choosing a seafood restaurant that's close nearby, which is very important. Perfect day trip away from Barcelona. Finally, number 10, Tarragona. Only an hour and 15 minutes drive along the coast from Barcelona, a port city in northeastern Spain's Catalonia region. So this is a very interesting trip for those of you who love history. The amphitheatre Roma is a second century arena facing the Mediterranean, as well as the necropolis which contains Roman tombs, and traces of the forum stand among the alleys of the walled medieval town. Now these sites tend to be the busiest from mid-morning onwards. So this trip, as I said, it's really impressive to witness some of the Roman past. And then later on you can stroll to El Sorello's neighbourhood to sample some fine seafood restaurants. Perfect day trip away from the Barcelona crowds. There you have it folks, that was the beautiful Barcelona. There is so much to do here that obviously not all of those things are in this video. It's a beautiful place to visit, especially for your first time or your fifth time. But in this video, I've also included some wonderful day trips. So I hope you enjoy those as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And as always, be good, be kind, be careful. Peace.